Ok, shalom, shalom. Kom je ze alle. Kogeloi me la. Je hou op Bahasim, je hou op Bahasim, je hou op Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely. Keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. Mr. Jachanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on this particular article in Newsweek. It's in the health um, section. And it says, Woman. Reportedly dies after eating deadly puffer fish delicacy. And so you got a lot of these these weird ass nations of people. They eat a lot of weirdo stuff. And then they get to calling it, you know, a delicacy when you're really not supposed to touch it. So when I seen this. You know, I've heard of puffer fishes before, but, you know, being in this truth, you kind of learn that the only fish that were to eat are with fins and scales. So it made me go off into it and type it in and Google you know, does puffer fish have fins and scales? It says puffers, all puffers have five fins. They do have fins, right? Two pectoral, one dorsal, one abdominal, and one anal. Their skin is hard, smooth, and without scales. See that? So this is a fish that doesn't have scales, so it's an unlawful fish for us to eat. You see what I'm saying? So let's go back into the story. A little quick lesson. I just thought that I, you know, because, you know, you even have fish like catfish. It has fins, but it doesn't have scales. It's you know, I'm not sure exactly the list of fish that don't have um scales, but if they don't have scales, we can't eat it. If they don't have fins, we can't eat it. The Lord he was strict about our dietary law when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which you are Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. Okay, it says um an 83 year old woman has died after eating a puffer fish. Yeah, this was in uh, Malaysia. The incident took place on March 25th, and her husband. 84 is still recovering in the ICU after dining on the delicacy. Well, obviously it's not that damn delicate because he could be out of here too. It says they clean and cook the fish for lunch at around 3 p.m. The woman started shivering and having breathing difficulties. Uh, it says her husband also began displaying similar symptoms about an hour later. The couple's son rushed him to the hospital, but by 7 p.m. that evening, his mother was pronounced dead, okay? And that there, there's a picture of the fish right there. Um, it says, the cause of death is given as food poisoning with neurological manifestation resulting in respiratory failure with cardiac uh, dysrhythmia, if I'm pronouncing that right, salakia, possibly due to ciguatera toxin or tetradox, tetradox toxin in, in, ingestion from the puffer fish. Puffer fish, also known as fugu, is popular is a popular Japanese delicacy. However, the fish contains a potent neurotoxin called tetradox toxin, which, according to National Geographic, is up to deadly than salmon. God damn! Now, why would you be out of all the? You got all these fish out here, and you would eat something that's twelve hundred times more deadly than cyanide. Why not just leave the fucking fish alone? But that's these heathen, man. They, they, they'll eat any goddamn thing. Right? Let me see. It says in Japan, only highly qualified chefs who have been trained in how to remove these toxins are allowed to serve the fish. Despite this, Malaysia's health direct, director general said that data from the health ministry indicates there have been at least 58 puffer fish poisonings incidents in Malaysia in the last 38 years, 18 of which resulted in death. And see, that's just, you know what I'm saying. You know, the scripture talks about uh, not uh, tempting the Lord. We're not supposed to tempt the Lord, man. If you do but they don't believe in the Lord anyway. These are heathens. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says um, the daughter heard about her parents' hospitalization through the family group chat, but by the, but by the time she arrived, she was too late. I was devastated, she told the star. The pain and the emotion that I felt at the time were indescribable because it was it was just too unexpected. Soon said the couple had purchased the fish from a vendor on social media who delivered the fish to their village. However, Lee said that her parents were unaware of the risks associated with their purchase. Yeah, right. My parents have been buying fish from the same fishmonger for many years, so my father did not think twice about it. She said he would not 
have knowingly bought something so deadly to eat and put their their lives in danger. Well, maybe, maybe so. And maybe the truth. What I mean, but you ain't going to ask, you know, well, hey, what kind of fish is this? I mean, because it's, it's obviously something that you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. In light of the incident, Lee has asked the government to step up their regulation on the sale of puffer fish in the country. I do not intend to blame anyone, she said. I hope my parents' experience can create more awareness um, among the public about consuming such fish or food with high levels of toxins. Abdullah said the health ministry had produced educational materials to increase public awareness of the dangers of consuming this fish. Why not just ban you, you know, the, 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 the why are you allowing fishermen to catch these fish and actually sell that shit? And then you train some so-called training chefs. You know, a year and, a, and some change, two years or whatever, to um actually cook something that can kill a person, man. But anyway, that hey, that that's that's the that's the level of heathens, man. But let's go into the scripture. You know, and like I said again, not gonna be a a long lesson. I just wanted to chop this up because you know I found it to be interesting. Because when I seen it, I'm like, this gotta be a fish that has either no fins or no scales, and hey, it doesn't have any scales. So um. Uh, let me just put this in real quick. Because the Lord told us what, what, to, what to do. We're not to be living like these damn heathens. And see, that's what a, a lot of our people do. You know, that, that's the reason why they eat, you know, a bunch of damn <laughs> weirdo shit like gumbo with frog legs in it. Got octopus tentacles and, you know, damn crawfish and every abominable thing, man, that's known to man in a damn pot. And they calling it good. Anyway, Leviticus 11 and 9, the law on this. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers. Them shall ye eat. So it must have fins and scales. It doesn't mention no damn octopus. It doesn't mention no dolphin. It doesn't mention no shark. Because a shark got fins, but it don't have scales. You see what I'm saying? You know? It doesn't mention jellyfish. It doesn't mention um shrimp, crab, and lobster. It doesn't mention, you know, um oysters and shit like that, man. But our people, man, they take it to the next level, man. And, and being in captivity, following after the heathen, this is where our people get these, um, you know, they following after the customs of these people. And the scriptures talks about the customs of the people are vain. Verse 10, it says, And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all, the, of all that move in the waters. See that? It's saying of all that moves in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. See that? Verse 12, it says, whatsoever hath fin no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. It's that simple. It goes over into Deuteronomy, same thing, basically. Chapter 14 and verse 9. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales, ye may not eat. It is unclean unto you. And that's the reason why a lot of our people, they have a lot of health problems because they're eating something that they're not supposed to eat. And you know what? Let me get this real quick. And a lot of our people really don't know. But you can talk to some of our people and tell them, hey, look, man, that's not, um, you know, you're, you're not supposed to eat that. And they'll cuss your ass out. Well, let's get uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Because like I said, uh, you know, I mean, even before I came into this troop, you know, I didn't eat stuff like that, though. I never liked seafood like that. Uh, you know, it was just something about it. I just never was in the seafood like that. So that was just probably by the spirit anyway. I didn't like stuff like that. I, I didn't like the way it looked and none of that. <laughs> you know, and I could I have tried catfish before. That is one of the nastiest fish I have ever tasted. So, you know, and I, I you know, kind of killed that too, you know, because it wasn't a thing that it, it, it's not a good tasting fish. It tastes like trash, <laughs> you know. So, but this is um, Hosea 4 and 6. And this is, a, like I said, a lot of our people, they live in these countries, they, you know, the places like here in the Americas, and they have no idea that they're not supposed to eat pork. They have no idea that, you know, um, the, the, uh, the dietary law that the Lord gave us. But when you tell them and you're trying to put them on game and trying to show them love by, you know, letting them know, you know, you know, Jake will shun you, man, a lot of the time. Some of them will listen, though, because some of them, you know, be like, oh, well, I didn't know that. But it takes a sincere person that's really into these scriptures and really trying to, um, repent and change their, their lives, you know, but this is, um, Hosea four and six, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. 
seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, and I will also forget thy children. So, you know, a lot of our people are really blinded, man, by just being in, under the um, subjection of the so-called white man and in his kingdom and his um, captivity and just live the customs of, 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 the, of the countries that we're, we're captive in, man. You know, Jake don't, don't have no idea that they're not supposed to be celebrating, you know, um, all these wicked ass idolatrous holidays, you know, but they go to church. They about to, they about to load up and go to church on um, Easter. As much as things are costing out here, they still going to go and get some clothes. They're going to try and buy new new outfits, an outfit for church and an outfit for after church. I remember all that new shoes going to come out all this money, going to spend all this money on um expensive ass meals, ham hocks and <laughs> pig ears, pig feet and whatever the hell else. You know, all kinds of abominable food right after coming out of church and they're going to celebrate that stuff, man. So our people are, you know, pretty destroyed for lack of knowledge, but. Yeah, I just wanted to just touch on this. You know, it was given an opportunity to get some edification on um, what we're supposed to eat, you know, out of the waters. And as you can see, it's only everything that we eat out of that water, man, is supposed to have fins and scales. Man, you're supposed to be eating no damn puffer fish. Look at this. I mean, why? I, <laughs> but they know it's poisonous. That's the whole thing. Like, why would I even take a chance? With eating something poisonous, man. I mean, you know, who, who? I mean, when you think about it, you you know what kind of asshole you got to be to even go through the lengths of even. Who was the very first person that trained to 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 actually clean this fish so you so it can be edible for you? Because you know somebody had to had died from it to begin with. <laughs> like that fish will kill you. Uh, we ain't touching that no more. You think that that's what they would say or what they would do, but. Yeah, they, you know, they done, they done found out a technique. <laughs> hey, man, hey, they, they, these heathen, man, they go to length, man, to be wicked, man. They don't, they, you know, they're not thinking about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But I just wanted to, um, you know, touch on that real quick. You know, um, so with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwam Yashallah.